Hey, beautiful friends. Um, I hope everybody is doing good. I thought I'd get on here because, um, sorry if you hear the trucks, like they're plowing the roads. So if you hear that big old roar noise, that's because of trucks. But, um, I did a vote on my, um, community page. I did a vote of, um, who would want to see, um, a video of me about my experience of being catfished. Trust me, it's not a very good experience. And, um, I was thinking about it the other day, um, because I do watch the series of Catfish. And I just thought it was a very, very, very good idea. So that way people can learn from my experience because the reason for this is that um, it's common nowadays, like catfish is common nowadays. Like there is a lot of um, cruel people out in this world that like to make fake accounts and pretend like they're this person and steal people's pictures and all that. And I just feel like it was very important to talk about it. So that's why I thought I need to do this video to, you know, share my experience because, um, that's the thing about catfish, like people that do catfish, they grab towards people like myself like, kind-hearted people like myself. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But, yeah, they gravitate towards that. Like, they want to get people that is kind-hearted and that is caring because they know they got a hold of them. So, let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna start off with, like, um, 2015, um, um, it was like, uh, what was it, the week, um, it was like in November, it was like 2015, um, one week, um, me and my ex-boyfriend were having issues and stuff, we only like dated for like eight months, but we were arguing a lot, having issues, he was hiding things, but the story goes on. Um, he, you know, cheated on me, and I kind of, like, fronted him. Well, I kind of, like, made him mad when I found out some stuff, you know. And he ended up was like, it's over. It's over. Because I found out some stuff. But I was willing to give him a, you know, another chance. Because me, when um I get involved, this is why I'm telling you about this part before I get into the catfish. Because when I get involved with somebody, um my heart is totally into it. Like, I fall hard. I am, like, one of them people that fall hard. Like, I do not take breakups very seriously. Like, I fall hard. Like, very hard. And, um, so, I was so upset, and I fall very, you know, I was so upset. I did not want to lose them. I even begged and plead for us to just, like, work it out. Like, but then again, I think, like, you know what, I'm glad that he, like, did what he did and just left because I got better now, but, um, it's just, like, I bleed and I begged and I just, you know, wanted him to stay, you know, and, um, I'm just glad that I didn't because it probably would have been worse. He was always, like, he would get mad over the stupidest things, so, Long story short, he ended it with me, um, and of course, I was, like, feeling sad, depressed, like, I was, like, in a deep depression, like, deep depression. All I would do is cry, and you know how, like, I don't know if anybody's like me, but I'm that type of person that, um, when I go through a breakup, <laughs> I'm kind of, like, laughing about it because I'd rather laugh about it than being sad about it, I guess. 
But I don't know if anybody's like me, but I when I go through a breakup, <laughs> I end up listening to sad breakup songs. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm, it's that pathetic. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's like that, but I'm like that. And, you know, and uh, I wasn't eating, and I was like, you know, I got to, to, and I was mean. Like, I was angry, too, like, grouchy. Like, really grouchy. I get like that when I get depressed. And, um, I was, like, pushing people away, you know, and I just did not like that side of me. And then, um, I'm like... One day, I was just like, you know what, Andrea, you need to get yourself together. Like, seriously, you need to get yourself together. There's only one guy. It's not the end of the world. But, you know, that's just how I am. Like, when I'm involved with somebody, I'm attached. So, And another thing I want to address, like, this video might be a little bit long. Especially talking about my story like this so you know I know people don't like long videos but with with this topic it's going to be a little bit long but with me when I watch long videos and I can't watch them completely all all I'll usually watch half of it then go back and watch the ha other half because I like to support people I like to make sure that I'm supporting their channel but yeah, like I was saying, I was like emotional wreck. And then I was like to myself, like, like thinking like, I need to get myself back together. So what I did, cause when I met my ex-boyfriend, I met him like on a dating site, of course. Um, I know a lot of people don't like dating sites, but me, I personally don't mind because I'm a homebody. It's not like, I think like the worst place ever to me. And I know I've met a few guys that way. It's like back in my club days when I used to go clubbing. That's how I met like a lot of guys and they didn't work out. They just didn't work out. Um, So I feel like dating sites are, you know, a good way to, you know, um, meet your Mr. Wonderful. Yes, you do have to be careful. Yes, you do need to do your research. Yes, you do need to do background checks and all that, which I make sure that I'm always careful. And I search very well. Um, So let's get into it. So since I was emotional wreck, I decided to like get myself together and, you know, because I was like on tag. It's a dating site. I mean, it's not the best dating site. But, um, I don't like the dating sites that you have to pay money. Like, I just think that's, like, ridiculous to find love. Um, so I got back on tag since me and my ex broke up. Because that's how I met my boyfriend now. Is off tag. And, you know, it was worth it. You just gotta, like, take that chance, basically. Um, so... I, I put myself back on tag. I would, like, go back and forth, check my messages, make sure, you know, I didn't get, you know, because you get messages and stuff like that. And, um, you know, and then not only that, I don't know, like, if anybody ever has this. I'm sure, like, probably a lot of people get messages on their Instagram. At the time, I would get guys message me in my inbox like multiple messages all day long drove me crazy like it drove me crazy like I wanted to pull my hair like I'd be sleeping I would hear ding 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 like it got to the point where I would have to turn my phone off or turn it down the volume down because I could hear it um, I didn't want to turn my phone off because I needed it on for, like, emergencies if, you know, like, something was to happen, like, with my mom and stuff, so I'd always have it. But my phone would constantly go off, and at the time, I would be working, and I didn't want to hear it go off all night when I needed my sleep to go to work at that time when I was working. And, um, so... Um, one, you know, a lot of them, 
I would just like, you know what, blow off and block because it, they started to annoy me. They would like, on my Instagram, because you know how you can call somebody? They would go to the point, like, if they could not, they'd be like, what are you doing? Why are you not reading your message? And I'm like, oh my gosh, for crying out loud. And then I'm like, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping, you know? And um, it got to the point where I ended up starting to block some of these guys because it was driving me crazy. And then I'm thinking, like, well, do I really want a relationship, you know? And um, to get involved with somebody because of all this. Um, so, and, and it doesn't matter because it still happens to this day. It just doesn't happen on Instagram so much. Now I'm getting like messages on TikTok by random guys that I know they're catfish. And it got to the point, and I told them, I said, I... I told, like, all these guys, because I'm not that type of person that just ignores, um, somebody's message, you know? Like, if they send me a message, I'm gonna say hi. Like, if they say hi, I'm gonna say hi. And I'm, like, downright upfront real with them, and I tell them, look, I'm in a relationship. And they're like, okay, that's fine. But can we be friends? Yeah, sure. But then it got to the point where it just would go crazy. And then I would have to, you know, I'm like, you know what? Forget it. I don't need those. I'm going to block them. Um, but, you know, sometimes blocking them does not work because catfishers, um, they're very, very smart. They make multiple accounts. They know how to get a hold of you. Trust me. And I'll get into a little bit of that when we get into it. But like I was saying, um, like I was saying, like with Instagram, I was getting multiple messages. But yeah, before, um, that's why like TikTok, I don't know if you could do that on Instagram or not, like turn your messages. But I don't like to do that because a lot of like my YouTube friends like to contact me. So I don't like to do that on Instagram. But on um, TikTok, I had to finally, like, turn my messenger off because I was getting, like, too many messages and it was driving me crazy and it was, it, I just couldn't take it anymore. So I was like, I'm taking a break from that. So with Instagram, all of a sudden I get a random guy instagramming me and the reason why it caught my eye because this guy was like very attractive like he he could have he could um i do have pictures but i didn't dare to show him i was like i'm not gonna show him you know um but uh because i was saving him for you know if i decided to do this video but i didn't want to like then I got to thinking, no, I don't want to be, you know, putting someone out there because I know it's not this guy that I was talking to. So, yeah. Um, he, I'm like seeing this guy and then I ended up checking out his, like, because he sent me a message. He sent me a friend request. I accepted it on Instagram. And then I was like, starting to check out he's like hi how are you and you know we just got to talking i'm like man i'm like he is he is gorgeous and i'm t when i mean cute he was yeah he was muscular very muscular oh my god you know yeah he could pass to be a model, and I even told him, I said, you know, you could pass to be a model, and that's why I thought, like, there for a minute, something was just not right, but then again, like, I had, like, that side, like, something wasn't right, but then again, something was, like, telling me to learn more, you know, or get to know this guy. Um, the fact that I, like, oh, like, we got to talking, like, he, at, you know, he asked me if I had kids, I said no, I just have a fur baby, he said he had one daughter, 
And then, um, I said, oh, you got a daughter. I said, is that, me? I said, that must be, you be, must be married. And he was like, no, she died in a tragic car accident. He goes, I thought I would tell you, but the, I don't like to really talk about the subject. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. And it seems like a few guys always use that too. Oh my 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 wife died in a tragic car accident. Like, I've talked to a few guys that actually saw that, and that's why I knew with this experience, I knew the other ones were, cat, like, fake, you know? Just to make you feel sorry for him, basically. But I was like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And, yeah. And then he was like, um, I don't really get on Instagram much. Um, do you have a number so we can talk on the phone or something? Because I would, you know, and I'm expecting him to talk to me on the phone. And then, um, I don't know, my gut feeling was like like thinking like what did I do you know because I ended up giving him my number and then I was like what did I do I shouldn't have gave him my number and then um you know he was like saying that maybe we can like video chat which it never happened because I was like you know what you know, I got to thinking about it when I got home after I thought you know what because I got nervous and scared because the fact that he was a very good looking guy, like he could pass to be a model, like I said. And guys like that, that are very, very attractive, I am very shy, nervous, and yeah. And they just, they make me shy, and because they're just so perfect, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like everything about them is just so perfect. So. That's why I was like, I got scared, got home. I'm like, you know what? I'm blocking him. Because um, he did have my number. He had my phone number. He did text me. And um, I ended up blocking him. And then I ended up blocking him on Instagram. And I was like, eh -eh. I was like, no, I'm just going to move on. So, I did. I ended up moving on, and now I'm with my boyfriend now. And then, like, after, like, I don't know what it is, but guys that I've talked to in the past, they come back, like, even if I'm in a re new relationship and stuff, they have to, t uh, t like, my exes done this. They always want to come back and say, what you doing? How you doing? And it's like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You let me go. Bye-bye. But yeah, I always get guys that do that. And, um, it was about, like, what was it two years ago? I had to say two or three years ago. Um, so one summer, because I'm with, you know, my boyfriend now, um, but one summer, I decided, I was like, it was such a beautiful day that day, um, I was working at the time, housekeeper, and, you know, in the summertime, I always take my dog for a walk, and I was like, wow, it's just such a beautiful day. And I was just like so giddy and so in love with my boyfriend that I'm, you know, with now. And I still feel those moments with him. And um, next thing you know, it, I'm like jamming to some music, walking my dog. And a text, I get a text. It's like, yeah. I believe this is about maybe two to three, maybe two and a half years, I would say, ago. And I get a text. And it said, hey, baby. And I went, who's that? And I didn't know the number. And I'm like, um, who is this? You know, because it started scaring me because I thought it was my ex messing around, you know. Um, cause he does that. And I was like, oh, great. You know, and I started getting scared and freaked out. And, um, I'm like, who is this? And they go, you don't remember me? 
I said, no, I don't remember you. He sends me a picture. And I went, why do you look so familiar? He goes, we talked before. And I was like, um, so I had to, you know, I was like thinking, like trying to think, like have my brain progress and try to think. And I said, um, why do you look familiar? And I kept saying that to him. And I said, where did we talk? Like, is there a place that we've talked before or something? And, um, I knew it wasn't tag. And then immediately I was like, we talked on Instagram, didn't we? And he said, yep. And I was like, oh my God. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. What is going on? I'm like, wait a minute. What is going on? I said, why are you contacting me now? He's like, I've been thinking about you a lot. And I'm like, you know, he was freaking me out, you know? And, um... Me, I'm the type of person, I told my boyfriend all about this. I don't, you know, I told him, I said, this guy is bothering me. Like, I don't know what to do. He says, babe, you can handle it. He told me that. He says, he goes, I trust you. Handle it. You know, you can handle it. Um, Take care of it. You know, he goes, just see what he wants. And, you know, I'm like. And and that's the thing. My boyfriend does not get jealous. Like, he does not get jealous. That's how it is. I mean, I guess that's a good thing because my past, like, other past relationships, they would be jealous, you know? Even if I was talking to another guy and they were just friends. Um, you know, he's like, just, you know... He goes, he goes, I trust you. He goes, I know you're with me. And I'm like, okay. Like, he just would not leave me alone, you know? And, um, so I did, and I was just kind of, you know, just, I figured friends wise, you know, it doesn't hurt to, you know, just be friends. And, um, he, you know, started talking to me and stuff like that. And then, um, I said, um, like, he asked me how I was doing, and then he told me, he asked me if I was, like, married again and kids, and then when he told me that, and then I asked him if he was married, he says, I was, but my wife passed away in a tragic accident, and then he was telling me he had a daughter, and I said, oh, yeah, 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 I remember you telling me that, and he goes, yeah, yeah. And then, um, but it just got, like, weirder when I would, like, talk with him. Like, things didn't make sense. Like, he would change things. And, um, you know, at one point, I didn't know if it was catfish or, I, like I said, I had mixed feelings. And, um, the reason why, um... But, and, and I told him, too, he's like, he's like, so, do you have a, he says, you probably have a boyfriend by now, you know, after this long, and I said, um, uh, to tell you the truth, yes, I do, and he's like, oh, okay, but then he just kept, I don't know what it was, but he kept calling me baby, and I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm not your baby, <laughs> you know, and he was just like hitting on me and stuff like that, and a weird thing too, he was taking my profile picture and, um, that I had on WhatsApp because he ended up hitting me up on WhatsApp because he had my number, so that's how he found me. And, um, plus he, t well, he texted me, and then all of a sudden he hit me on WhatsApp after that. And I was like, um, why do you have my profile picture as your profile picture? And he's like, because I like you. And I'm like, I know, but I got a boyfriend, you know? And I was just, like, telling him that. And I'm like, you know what, screw it. You know, he's not gonna listen to me. And then, um, he ended up talking to me, and then, um, one minute, um, like, there'd be, like, days that he wouldn't talk to me, and then there'd be days that he was, um, 
he sended me, what was it? He sended me an application. He, he's like, here, fill this out. And I didn't know what. He sent me a link. And he goes, here. And I was kind of afraid to open up the link. Because, you know, sometimes you don't know. And I ended up just taking that chance. And it was a link for American Express credit card. And I'm like, what the heck is this? And and you could tell. And he was also a scammer. Like, he was a scammer, too. And I'll get into deep of that. And I said, I am not filling this out. He said, why not? And then he would get mad and not talk to me for, like, the rest of the day. And I'm like, cool, bye-bye, adio. And then, um... And he would never call or video chat or anything. And I was trying to get him to call and video chat because I wanted to, I was, you know, and I just thought that it got really weird. And I said, well, you know, we should, I said, you should call me instead of typing, you know, because you could talk through WhatsApp, you know. And he was like, I can't right now. I'm busy. Like, it would always be busy, 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 busy. So, at this point, you know, you know, because I'm thinking, you know, okay, you know, because we're friends. Why do you not want to, like, talk, you know? And, um, like I said, I've, you know, I've, you know, I've told my boyfriend about this. And he was like, and I even told him it was, like, strange. And, um... And he just, like, you know, so he got mad at me because I wouldn't fill out that application. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not filling it out. I said, you fill it out. And then he would want me to, like, what was it? One time he wanted me to set up um, a cash app for him or certain apps for him and then give him the um the information and stuff like that and I said at the password to it and I said and he wanted everything to be in my name and I'm like nope he wanted my address I was like nope and he would get mad and he just couldn't get through me to get it because I was playing his game I was playing his game and I was like well you know, and I kind of, like, played on, I played him, like, you know, at first, you know, because I was telling my mom about everything that he was doing, because I wanted to, like, let her know that I met, like, this friend, and I was kind of, like, wanted her to know, and, um, because I was just kind of, you know, playing his game, too, and, um, she's like, yeah, he's definitely, she even said he's definitely catfish. She's like, so, he doesn't call or talk. And he doesn't video chat. And I'm like, nope. And um, that's when you know, like, if they don't want to, like, video chat or call, that's catfish right there. You know dang well that's catfish. Or, like, sometimes they'll, like, try to disguise their voice so that way, you know... And, um, eventually, um, we did end up talking. He did end up talking to me through, um, WhatsApp on the phone. But it was, like, really quick and short. And then he would, like, hang up. Like, it was just so odd and weird. And then, um, and his voice sound like it was an accent. Like, it was a deep accent. Because he told me he lived in, um, Chicago. And I didn't know if I wanted to believe that. Because he told me he lived in Chicago, which Chicago is like five hours away. So, I'm like, well, you're not too far from me because we're only five hours away from Chicago. And, um, yeah. It, it just got really weird. And, um, he, um... Oh, what is it? Like, he just would not, like, yeah, like I said, we've talked. Um, he would say that he was, like, working and busy all the time. Like, if I would be online, he'd be like, who are you talking to? And I'm like, well, I do have, and I told him I had a boyfriend. I said, you know. 
And I said, I also have friends, you know, on my WhatsApp. I said, you know, you can't tell me who I can and can't talk to. And he says, I'm jealous. And I'm like, oh my gosh. It, it just got like really weird, like I said. And then um, one time we, um, I was like, well, why don't you just like video chat? Why don't you show your face? Like, why are you so afraid? Um, but like I said, he has an accident accent and he said that his family lived in um canada and he kind of does have like a canada accent um so i was like you know i'm thinking like okay um i'm thinking like i think you're from i don't even think you live in chicago like you say you do and um so he ended up, I was just seeing what time it was on the clock because I don't want to make this too, too long. But he ended up, um, eventually, I'm like, okay, I go, fine. If you don't want a video chat, fine. So I'm sitting there eating my food and then he plays this game with me and all of a sudden calls me. And I answer and when I answered, he's showing his daughter, um... And I'm like, and it kind of didn't look like the girl that he showed me. Because he did send me pictures of his daughter. And it didn't really look like the girl that, you know, of the pictures. And then he, and then, um, then he was like, I said, okay, are you gonna, like, put it on your daughter all this time or what? And then he, um, shows me, but his head, just his head. And I'm like, and it was dark, and I'm like, and I even told him, I said, I think you're catfishing me. And he laughed. He literally laughed, so I knew it dang well that he was catfishing me. And I'm like, okay, this is odd. And, um, yeah, because he was video chat, and then all of a sudden it would, like, it, he would just end it really quick. Like, when we were doing video call. And, but he wasn't showing his face. He was showing, you know, and I said, well, how come you're not showing your face? I'm shy. I'm shy. I'm like, a guy like you, shy, just by looking at your pictures, shy. Yeah, right. You ain't shy. I said, if you, you wouldn't approach me if you were shy. And, um, so it just like drove me crazy. So, you know, let's get into it. So we've had like, like, he kept wanting me to do, like, multiple things for him. Like, one, it got to the point where he wanted me to get money from my dad and lend it to him. I said, no. And he got mad about it. He's like, well, I'll pay you back. And I'm like, by looking at his pictures, he had an iPhone. Because there's, like, pictures that he was taking with his iPhone. He had an iPhone. I'm like, boy... You don't need money. You have money. So don't even go there. And I told him that. And then he wanted um, to know how much I had in my banking account. And I was like, no. And I even called him out and called him a scammer. Told him to leave me alone. And he just would not, like, leave me alone. He kept contacting me. Like, he would, like, wait a few days and continue to contact me. And at that point, it was not worth blocking him because I did, you guys, I did. And you know what he did? He made another account for to get a hold of me. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, he's one of those. Um, but yeah, like in a few days, you know, I'm like, you just need to leave me alone. And I told him that. And then he's like, he would like wait until I cooled off and see if he could like sliver in a bit. I said, just like, leave me alone. I don't want to be your friend. Leave me alone. And, um, yeah. And he was like, you don't care about me. You don't love me. You're me, me. I'm like, look, I have a boyfriend. Like, I've told him many times that I had a boyfriend. And it just didn't want to sink through his head. And um, he goes, you, I can't believe you. He goes, I care about you so much. I don't want to lose you. And I'm like, 
<clears throat> the things that you're doing, you do not care, you know? You know, because he would get, like, really mean and mad and because I wouldn't do what he wanted me to do. Because he would be like, if I said no, he'd be like, you listen to what I say. He was like one of those ones that were, I'm um, like, oh no, oh no, you're not going to talk to me like that. And, um, so it got to the point where, you know, I'm like, you know, forget it, you know. So, like, mm, the last time, like, he reached out to me was I'm going to be like, because he ended up contacting me like last year at the end of the year again. Like I said, he would keep, you know, he would back off and then he would contact me. Well, he ended up contacting me like, and this is another thing that I hated too. He said that he hated liars and he didn't like it when people kept secrets. He lied to me this whole time. Well, he ended up contacting me, um, like, the end of the last year, wanting to know how I was doing, and I'm like, what do you want? Like, seriously, what do you want? And I'm like, I said, you play too many games, just leave me alone. And, um, he's like, I care about you, and I'm like, if you care about me, you would leave me alone. You know, and then, um, so, you know, we got into an, uh, he, he would like, you know, talk to me and stuff. And then he finally, like, we got into another incident. He's like, hey, and then you'd be all sweet and talk to me. And he's like, can you, uh, download this for me and then password and all that? And I was like, why can't you do it yourself? You have an iPhone. You could do it yourself. And he's like, and he, and that's another thing. He would say, well, my phone ain't working good. I'm like, how are you going to get on the app if you want me to download it? He goes, you would give me the password, but the app would be on your phone. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. And he, he would get mad. And he said, you know what? I don't like you anymore. And I said, good, you know? I'm happy because I would say no and I said bye-bye and then you know and he would get all mad and all you know all that and um so yeah like there for a minute I didn't think he was catfish but now I know he is catfish so I was like cuz cuz he played too many games and um um, just like, what was it, this week, um, like I said, I don't, blo I didn't, I blocked, like, all his other ones that he made, but I was at to the point where I got so sick and tired of blocking him, um, that I just kind of, like, ignored him, you know, if you send me a message, and, um, he would change his, like, it was, like, so weird, you guys, because every time I would change my profile picture, he would change his pro profile picture. And, um, all of a sudden, I seen him change his profile picture to a woman, and I'm like, I clicked on it, and I'm like, oh, thank you so much, now he can leave me alone. And I, and I ended up, I probably shouldn't have, but I ended up and I said, thank, I said, congratulations on your new woman. Thank God. You, now I, now I can move on, now you can move on from me. And he ends up saying thank you. And I was like, you're welcome, you know. And then, um, he was like telling me, and then all of a sudden he's like, you know, I said, I was like, I knew you were, um, and I ended up telling him this too. I said, I knew you were a catfish and I knew you were a scammer. And he is like, all of a sudden he blurts out and says, um, I'm from uh, Hong Kong, but I live in New York. And then after that, I was like, okay, whatever. And I, like, moved on. I was like, because cause he told me he was from Chicago. And now he tells me he's from Hong Kong and lives in New York. Yeah, you know that was catfish. But that is it. 
for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learn from this. Um, all I'm saying is be careful, you know, do your research. I always play back and forth. Like, if, if I get a message from somebody and it just ain't right, like, I'm like serious with them. Like, I let them know what their game is. Like, because like I said, I was getting like messages on TikTok and I told them I know, like, like for one incident, um, Jordan Knight from New Kids on the Block. All of a sudden, I got a message from him. Supposedly, it was him. And he was telling me, and I knew it was a catfish because of somebody acting like that person. Because they steal pictures. That's what catfishes do. They steal pictures. And, um, from, you know, other people's accounts. And he was, like, texting me. He says, so how long have you been a fan? And I go, what do you mean? And, um, I said, I'm not a fan. I said, I'm a Donnie fan. That's what I said. He goes, oh, do you want to talk to him? And I'm like, get out of here. And I, like, blocked him. I was like, you know, I said, if he, he'll probably end up contacting me again with a new account. But, oh, wow. It just, like, drove me crazy. And I just, that's when I, like, turned my messenger off on TikTok. Because I wasn't, I was like, I was done with it. I'm like, get out of here. Like, I've had one claiming that they were Drake on Instagram and I'm like you know and and if if you were cuz like the celebrities they have the blue check mark so that's when you know that the and celebrities don't have time to be sending their fans messages they don't have time for that so I know dang well that it was not them. So that's what I'm saying. You just got to be very, 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 very careful. You can't like get sucked into it. Especially being a kind hearted person. You cannot get sucked into it. You got to do research. And if they tell you your their last name. Search it. You can Google their first and last name. I've done it. Like search 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 and that is what I did with this guy supposedly his name was Alan which I know it wasn't I mean he might have used that name just to you know pretend like that was his name but I know I was talking to totally somebody different but I'm going to get off here because I'm going to go and get some things done I hope you guys enjoyed this and like learn from my experience um if you're new feel free to hit the subscribe button i would love to have you and i will see you guys soon with another video take care bye, -bye.